Hello and welcome back to our collaboration between Josh from Wicketkeeper Coach and Sam from Crickfit where we're looking at the fitness side of being a wicketkeeper. In this video today we're going to take you through a five minute warm up that you can do before your games and training sessions to get everything working as we want it to be. Exercise number one we're going to do Josh is we're going to go through a Spider-Man. So we're going to go into a plank position and we're then going to bring our foot outside our hand and then we're going to dip this elbow to our ankle and rotate round and back in. We're just going to do five each side. Why this is working well for Josh is we're working on a little bit of knee stability. We're getting a stretch through that inside groin and then he's also opening up his hips and he's getting thoracic mobility on the turn and rotation. If you add a little bit extra time, what you could also do in this position is you could take this hand around the back of your ankle and then do some big rotations in there to focus on your ankle mobility. Exercise number two that we're gonna do in your five minute keepers warm up is a 90-90. So we're gonna start on our bum with our knees bent and heels in front of us. We can put our weight onto our hands to start with. Then we're gonna drop this knee to our opposite heel and you'll just feel it in this hip a little bit and then keeping your heels flat on the floor rotate round to the other side and you might just have to adjust a bit because you want basically a 90 degree angle in this front knee 90 degree angle in that back knee as you're rotating side to side if you want to make it easier lean further back make it harder go onto your fingertips and then you're challenging your hip stability a little bit more so this will open up your hips, open up your glutes, and leave your hips feeling a lot better, allowing you to get from squat position that's up here into a nice, deep, strong stance position. If you want to progress to 90-90, what you can then do is hold on one side, take one hand off the floor, and turn over your front knee. I normally then take this hand and pop it on my front knee, and then lean forward over that knee, and get a stretch for your glutes. Exercise number three is gonna be a, a deep squat and rotate. It's gonna bring our hammies into play and we're gonna to start to get even more comfortable in that squat position. So feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna reach down and grab our toes, trying to keep our legs as straight as we can. Then sit down into a deep squat. We're gonna take one hand and pop it onto our inside knee and then with the other hand, rotate round and then back again and then swap which elbow you're pushing into your knee rotate around, grab your toes again, try and stand up with your bum, with your legs straight, and then stand up. This one, make sure you don't do it too quickly because you can get quite lightheaded, but repeat probably five times, so then you've got five rotations each side. So down, sit, rotate, rotate, bum up, stand up, like so. Exercise number four, so we're now coming towards the end of our warm up. I'm gonna start looking at moving side to side. So we're gonna take a single leg balance position and imagine we get pushed from one side, we're gonna fall into a lateral lunge position where we might catch a ball and bounce back. And if you want to make this harder, we can go less of a hold and straight back up. And then that position is then where you need to engage. And what you'll notice is the first few reps, you'll probably be a little bit wobbly, but as you get into it, you'll be a bit, bit more sturdy as your glutes and groins switch on. And finally, just to round up your warm up, we want to potentiate our nervous system. So we're gonna do something a little bit more explosive. So we're gonna start as if we're about to catch a ball. We're gonna shuffle and stick, shuffle and stick, shuffle and stick. Nice, really load up onto that outside foot. Good. So it's challenging Josh's ankle stability, knee stability, and as he gets more into it, he gets more and more stable and more and more explosive. So then if we were to chuck him a ball, he'd be ready to go straight away. 